Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So, <laughs> I know it has been a, like a little bit of a minute or, okay. I know it's been a while, okay, since um, I, I've done a video. But I just felt like I really needed to do a video now or today. And I'm not, I'm not sure why. Okay, so I'm going to do a collective video and then I'm going to do an All Signs Weekend video. Um... I just felt like really anxious and really felt like I need to do a video. I'm not sure why. So let's see what messages come out. What I will say is that um, throughout the like past three or four days, I've been really feeling like I need some time to myself. I need some, you know, time to uh, care for self. Right. And so I don't know if, you know, collectively, you know, we are being guided to kind of like take a break or um, slow down a little bit. OK, so let's see what messages come out for the collective. I'm going to use the Energy Oracle deck. OK. Um, and yeah, let's see, you know, I, I just feel like everyone's really like busy, 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 you know, doing something. And so I think it's important for us to just take a, a moment to reflect, a moment to connect with self and to like, you know, process all of what we're doing every day. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I did my like prior meditation and stuff. It, I had to like, oh, as you can see, new backdrop or whatever, you know, same room. I just moved the desk. I just turned it. I felt um when whenever I was in this room, I just I felt closed in. I felt claustrophobic. It, it wasn't positioned right. But I now I feel like I have way more space. I do. My plants, I can put more plants in here. Look, look, you see my babies back there? Listen. My plants. I love my plants. Okay, so let's see. Um what comes out for the collective spirit? What do we have for the collective this week and or just like today, you know? I plan to do more videos this week. Let's see. Uh, what do we have for the collective spirit? Message for the collective. Okay. All right, so two cards. Okay. Yin Yang, okay, number 22. All right, you see that? Okay. And rest and rejuvenation in reverse. You can't make this stuff up. What I just say, I just felt like, you know, collectively we're just going, going, going and not really taking time for self. I got to remember to look here because I keep looking here. But I gotta look here. All right. So rest and rejuvenation card number 19 is in reverse. Okay. So let's see what these messages say. Okay. The overall energy is the world number 29. Okay. So let's see. Go for this. All right. Number 22. Yin Yang upright. Okay, so it says this card represents energetic life cycles, and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cyclic energy moving into or out of your experience. Okay, so there's a particular ex energy that is moving either into your current experience or out in its upright position okay it hurls a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things this is a time of great receptivity intuition and gestation external circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity it's an especially good time for com com completion yeah, completion. So wrap things up. 
Yen cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, and reflective. So open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. Being more than acting. Take a break, okay? I feel like at some point we forgot that part collectively, okay? Now, let me use this one, okay? Let's see. I don't know if this, this is the messages of love that do, yeah. Like, I don't know if this deck has any messages for that, but I'm, I just feel like I want to use it. Okay. All right, yin, yang. Okay, so it's more of a yin cycle, right? Just being rather than doing. Okay, why is yin here? If there are any messages that relate to this card from this deck. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right. So the message is, where are you? Okay, there you go. Soulmate with interference on the box. Okay, so it says soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Okay. Um, with interference on the bottom, an external party, an external party is intruding on the relationship leap of faith. Okay, so let's um clarify in general. I don't know if that soulmate card has anything to do with this yin cycle as far as just being, but we'll see. What depth it on is. Okay, so this is that um this is my deck from Soulful Revolution. It's the Souls on Fire deck. Um, one of my favorite tarot readers. Okay, so um yin. All right, spirit. Why is the yin card here for the collective? Okay. Why is Jen here for the collective? Please make it clear. Okay. 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 Raising consciousness. Okay. So this is... Fuck. I'm serious. Okay. I literally... Okay. I have several Oracle decks. I mean, not Oracle decks. Tarot decks sitting on my desk. Several. Right. I've all cleansed. You know, the energy is... is the attention is set. Right. On all the decks. So, the fact that I was guided specifically to this deck, right? <laughs> like, you know, I kept, like, wanting to pick that one up. I just went with this deck, right? This is the card in this deck that makes it different from every other tarot deck. She has a special card in her deck called Raising Consciousness, okay? All right. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Okay, with the magician energy on the bottom. Also, we have the six of pentacles. Okay, so the six of pentacles is like bread crumb, bread crumb, right? Only given a little bit, only given enough. Okay, um, it can even be selfish energy. Um, but this is also like someone maybe like reflecting on the balance of things. Six of pentacles is about balance. Okay, equal give and take. So someone might be really raising their consciousness on like equal give and take, whether something is equal, whether something, you know, okay. So someone's raising their consciousness on equal give and take, maybe even saying, I need to give more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Three major icon in a row. Three major icon in a row. We have the magician, justice, and a star. Okay. It's like, Ta-da. Okay, the two of cups, right? It's like, ta-da. Okay, what you wished for, what you manifested, what you wanted from a person, you're getting, right? So I think spirit is like, just chill. This is more about being versus acting. Don't do anything, okay? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. The slowest night in the deck. Oh, now? 
up with the nine of cups on the bottom. Yeah, you're getting your wish. You're getting your wish, right? So now, okay, the night comes through. Now, yeah. Now, now you want to do things differently. Okay. Well, Spirit is saying soulmate with this soulmate card. Okay. Someone accepts, respects, and loves you unconditionally. Right? Okay. Why is the yin card here for the collective? Why is the yin card here for the collective spirit? All right. Okay. It's like someone's raising their consciousness about maybe about how like they didn't put in equally in a situation. It something was not balanced, something was not fair. Okay. It's like now they want to stop being toxic, <laughs> right? Okay, so temperance, okay, with the magician, okay. Tower, now mind you, I just called all major arcana, temperance, the magician, tower, okay. The hermit, okay. It's like... Death has risen. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay. So it's almost, it's giving the energy of something that you almost gave up on. Something that she was just like, they just don't get it. Or something that, you know, you were just kind of like, when is it going to change? Okay. Because you were so patient with the temperance and the magician. Because you were so... um Resilient because you were so uh, diligent, whatever you want to say, because you were so. Here it is. Ta da! What you asked for, ta da! What you wanted, ta da! The balance, the fairness, the peace that you wanted, ta da! Like, Right? <laughs> like, seriously. So, with the rest and rejuvenation card in reverse, let's read the message. Okay? Number 19. Okay? That's about relaxation and meditation. All right? Okay. In reverse, it says this. When the rest card is reverse, it can portend a time of bustling activity and seemingly un- ending business you may be required to take more action concerning a project or situation allow yourself to do what's needed but always remember to schedule some leisure time for yourself when you hurry through life without a break it fragments your energy and creates an abrasive life force causing potential frustration in all sorts of ways. Be careful not to let endless tasks take you away from yourself. The have two items on your list may be calling you, but this card, reverse, is telling you, take the time to meditate, rest, and relax. Right? <laughs> The affirmation for this card in reverse says, I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. I rest my case, right? Mm, 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 mm. Right? <laughs> okay, so with the rest and rejuvenation card in reverse, are there any messages from this deck spirit that would clarify this message? Ret regret. Okay, regret. I'm about to say retreat. You can't even know. It's regret. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Okay. It's like all this time. All this time. Okay, with protected on the bottom, 
you are safe and divinely guided. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Okay? Listen. All this time. Right? <laughs> That's what it's getting. All this time. Now. Oh, now. Yes. Now. What you asked for, what you meditated on, what you manifested, what you wanted, what you prayed for. Ta-da. Okay. So let's see why rest and rejuvenation is in reverse with regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Why is this card here for the collective spirit? So there's something you didn't, you don't know, okay? That took a minute, but I had to like process it, okay? With the high priestess energy, okay? I feel like spirit wants you to like use your intuition, right? Use your intuition, follow your intuition, okay? Um, it's like you know, okay? With the three of wands energy, like you have been very patient on something, okay? You've been waiting on something, right? And with the Seven of Cups, you may be feeling like overwhelmed, um, overthinking, panicking even, okay? With the Ten of Cups, it's like about you accomplishing something, Um that you truly ultimately want. It's like you are waiting, okay, okay. You are waiting on some type of um, outcome, okay? And maybe it's just because it's not coming through as quickly as you desire it, um, you may be overthinking, panicking. Um, but with, I feel like with this high priestess energy spirit is like use your intuition, follow your intuition, okay? You have the full energy, the Knight of Cups, right, and the Page of Wands, okay? All right. So remember, on this deck, it got down to, was it this deck? Yeah. We saw um, Leap of Faith, okay? Um, with the full energy, Spirit is like, step out on the unknown, Okay, someone is someone is is ready to step out on the unknown. Okay, ready to take that leap. Okay, yeah, yeah. They may even be coming in with a loving gesture. Okay, because they have some type of regret for how things have been unfair, unbalanced. Um, and you're getting some communication with the Page of Wands. Okay. It's like something that you've been waiting for is coming through for you. Right? With the Four of Cups energy, someone is like um, almost, I ain't gonna say, is it displeased with themselves? Okay. Communicating how they ha feel regretful. Okay. Maybe they push you away with the Four of Cups. Um, maybe they, um, just didn't respond to your efforts, okay? Just didn't respond to your attempts, 
And so now it's like someone is seeing it. They're raising consciousness. They're um, ready to take a leap, okay? Uh, to do things maybe differently, okay? Is Why is blessing and rejuvenation here for the collective? <laughs> yeah. The world and the seven of swords. This is honesty, okay, with the world energy and the seven of swords closing a cycle of the unknown, okay? No longer being dishonest, no longer being sneaky, no longer holding things back, no longer being strategic, like, you know, with an agenda, right? <laughs> With the Eight of Pentacles, this is like really putting in a working effort, really making things balanced, really making things fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the Judgment Energy right behind the Eight of Pentacles, it's almost like um, the Judgment Energy is about second chances, karmic review. Yeah. So it's almost like, okay, um, looking back at a situation like, if I could do that all differently, right? Someone is raising consciousness about like what equal give and take looks like and whether they, you know, gave equally, okay? Or, you know, it can be financially, energetically, whatever, okay? The overall energy is the world, number 29. And it's about expansion and opening up, okay? <laughs> you cannot make this up. Expansion and opening up, okay? So, spirit is like, just relax, okay? <laughs> like, calm down, slow down, take some time to yourself. Just chill. You're protected, okay? So let's read this overall message for the world. All right. So it says, the man in this picture yeah, is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. And contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide. So there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster. So get ready to gobble it up. Okay? Yes. Gobble it up. You don't do anything. Okay? So let's see. Why is this message here? Okay. It's like maybe someone is um, trying to create some type of balance for themselves and they're like, it's just not happening. Okay? So let's see. Why is the world here? If this deck has any message for, or if that clarifies the world, please. Why is the world here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Denial. Detached with love to clearly see the truth. Okay. Yeah. 
and abundance. You've done the work, abundance flows to you now, okay? <laughs> With intuition on the bottom, okay? You already know the answer you seek, okay? You're obsessing about something, maybe a decision or something like that. You already know the answer you seek. Or maybe a decision, whether a decision is going to come through. You already know. You do. Okay? So, yeah. Stop worrying. Stop stressing. Stop. Um, well, yeah, just relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay? Why is the world here? Unlimited resources. It's not just what's right here in front of you, what you're used to. Right? What you really truly want, what you manifested. Ta da! Okay? You don't have to do anything. Okay? But be ready to step out on faith. Okay? Don't be closed minded, right? Okay? So, with the Queen of Wands energy, this is about, um, this is, you know, a confident energy. <clears throat> Yeah. With the page of swords, it's like knowing. Okay. The page of swords is to me is I know. Okay. So someone is learning, figuring out, being told, uh, uh receiving a, a letter or some type of communication. This is communication um that brings information. Okay, a message. It can be a text message, it can be a Instagram message, it can be a okay. But someone is receiving some information. Okay. Um, but the trade energy about like moving or moving forward or a car. <laughs> okay. Um, no, but like someone is getting the information, the communication that they need. Okay. Someone now knows. Okay. Whatever it is that they need. Okay. And so now it's like I can move forward. Okay. Why is the world here for the collective spirit? Yeah, so with the hermit energy on the bottom, Virgo energy, but this is someone that is really like contemplating, okay? This is someone who is raising consciousness. It's someone that is learning more, okay? Figuring things out, um, becoming more self-aware, reflecting, okay? With the tower energy, okay? A sudden awareness, okay? That raising consciousness, okay? Uh, with the queen of cups energy, The Six of Swords, right? And the Four of Swords, right? Yeah, the Queen of Cups energy is about care for self, right? Um, but it's also about uh, unconditional love, right? And I feel like someone recognizes they are your soulmate and they respect and um accepts and loves you unconditionally right and they're seeing like they they're not doing their part but they didn't do things in a balance in a fair way mm -hmm. they have some regrets okay so what you manifested is coming through for you. Um, someone is recognizing, okay, or knows how they feel, right? And so this is like taking things and moving. How can we move these? Move this into um, into a state of peace. Into Harmony, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because it's almost like I have to do what's right. Okay? Almost like feeling like morally right. I'm not going to say morally right because we all have our own, you know, look on how we, what we feel is like, you know, moral or whatever. But it's like what someone feels is like just what's right, you know? Right? So whatever you've been praying for, whether you feel like, you know, someone just, you know, kind of wasn't there for you or wasn't doing things in a fair way, um, whatever the case may be, it's coming through for you as um, balance being restored. Mm -hmm. With the Eight of Cups energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like someone is moving forward with a plan. Mm -hmm. Starting over, leaving the past behind. Uh, yeah. So you don't have to worry. Follow your intuition. Relax. Chill. What you manifest is coming through for you. But that's what I have for you, Shiv. I hope this helped. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I'm going to do the all sign reading. Um... Hopefully, I can do it all in one session. If not, I'm going to have to do it in two. But yeah. See you guys soon. Miss you guys already. Bye.